Hello, this is Bobby at Compile TV Repair with a, a hopefully helpful video to some people. This is a main board for Visio M550 SV. Uh, the board number is 3655 0342 0150. And uh, as you can see, it is for M550 SV. We don't offer a repair service for that board as of yet. There are two problems that we have seen develop with it that we are so far unsuccessful addressing. <coughs> However, there is a third problem that we have seen that is not so difficult uh, to resolve when it happens. And I'm going to show you uh, when, and when it happens and how it can be detected. There are several different, basically, it, it, the symptom for it is that you don't get HDMI out of the TV, and in some cases it may be even worse. Uh, the, the board may not be coming up, but it's usually you just don't get an HDMI. And as in many other similar cases, you can see the HDMI ports here at the edge of the board. Uh, there is a router for them. It's a uh, just channeling device, which uh, is also called HDMI selector, which basically takes all four in and only one goes out to the main processor and uh, the main processor just controls which one of those four is being selected. So what I call good boards are boards that have this uh, selector outside of the main processor. There are many boards uh, that don't have that and the HDMI goes straight in and when an external power surge kicks it kills directly the main processor. That's so much more difficult to fix than uh, than cases where you have a dedicated selector. Now, what you want to do for this quick check is actually two different things. Um, you want to see the resistance over this filter capacitor. And what you don't want to see is a resistance of 50 ohms or something. It's got to be three, 400. I don't remember the exact value, uh, but it's between three and 400. We may see it in a minute. If it is as bad as you see it here, uh, there is a problem. There is a little trick to that that doesn't necessarily the a little uh, potential issue. The shortage may not necessarily be coming from this chip. It may be coming from elsewhere. And this is an inductor here right next to the capacitor. This inductor is providing the power for the chip. In order to find out whether the shortage is coming from the chip or from before the chip, and when it's from before the chip, it goes down to this voltage regulator, which also powers directly the main processor. Uh, if, the, if the shortage is coming from the outside, that's a problem that um, we can't help you with. It's usually from underneath here. Maybe not necessarily, but that's what we've seen. However, if the problem comes from the HDMI chip, you just replace it. So, in order for you to test what happens, you first got to desolder that little inductor here. And uh, I don't know if I'll be able to desolder it while doing this video. Probably not a good idea. Here is the best way you can do it. Now I'm going to hold that phone in the same hand in which I'm holding the blower. So, and I will set my tweezers. And you will then see how I'm going to do it. I'm sorry, press the zoom by mistake. So, you wouldn't see how am I going to do it, but you will see the end result. The end result is the inductor being taken out of its solder side by side. There it goes. And what we want to find out is the resistance between ground and the inside point. This point which leads to the power of the HDMI and the resistance between ground and the outside point which power which goes to the rest of the board. 
And depending on what we find out with that, uh, we will know where the problem is and whether we should replace that HDMI chip and hope for a successful fix. Again, my meter is there. Testing on the inside. We have 96 ohms, that's way too low. Testing on the, sorry for the bad quality, testing on the outside. We have 500 ohms, now, now that's way better. It seems like the problem here is in HDMI chip. So we're going to replace it. You can find that chip um, different places. You can find it at our website. You can find it probably on eBay. Uh, but we're going to replace that chip and I hope that this will actually fix the HDMI. Sometimes there may be additional smaller problems, but uh, the good thing is that there is no low resistance and I'm talking, you know, 100 and below or even 200 and below on the outside. If there is low resistance here, you've got a bigger problem on your hands that I currently cannot give you a solution for. Hope that helped. Uh, please leave a short review if you did. And good luck in your repairs.